Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. The weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the middle would be lost, the middle would be lost. The ship's aground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle, with Gilligan, the skipper too, the millionaire and his wife, the movie star, and the rest. Shut that off. That's the best part. I'm <laughs> Chaser 307 calling squadron command. No, but everyone will be showing up for dinner pretty soon.
Mary Ann, will you give this back to Mr. Howell? I found you. <laughs> Good morning, Professor. Uh, I'll stand guard now. Oh, thanks, Gilligan. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. 
weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. The minnow would be lost. The ship's aground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle, with Gilligan, the skipper too. The millionaire and his wife, the movie star. And the rest are here on Gilligan's Island. Skipper, why don't we get Gilligan to help us with this well? Gilligan help? Got an idea. Why don't we vote? You know, like an election. That's unfair. You're right, it is unfair. Instead, I'll buy the votes. Let me see. <laughs> and I know that it's going to be a good, clean, hard fought battle right down to the wire. That's right. Hello, Skipper. Lovely flowers for a lovely lady. Oh, gee, they're lovely. Oh, those are the flowers the professor said are poisonous. Poisonous? Poisonous? <laughs> Shame on you. Oh. Invoke, but before you do, <laughs> Jimmy, what are you doing? I was cleaning up the White House. Jimmy. Well, that glue is permanent. There's nothing on the island to dissolve it. Nothing? nothing? Why, do you know what it would take? It would take a polyester derivative of an organic hydroxide molecule. Watch your language. <laughs> the presence of a lady. <laughs> Forgive me, but let me put it this way. In order to dissolve that glue, I need an aromatic acetate. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Perfume. Some perfumes are made with that formula. <gasps> I have perfume, Professor. Yes, so you do. Hey, Mary Ann! Shake them, shake them! Come back! I'm your biggest taxpayer! And the countdown has already started on Operation Powder Cake. I think we ought 
ought to rename the house in Southampton Gilligan's Acres. I think we ought to rename the house in Southampton Gilligan's Acres. Heat. Ship, look in the harbor. I see a ship. A ship? A ship? Oh, we're safe, we're safe. Oh, my fair queen. Just great. I haven't even said it. Now, now can we talk? <laughs> Will you go away and let me alone and do my rehearsing by myself? <sighs> oh, my fair Gilligan. <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> oh, my fair... <laughs> my heart, it beats so. I can scarce hear my lover's approach. <laughs> that is very good, very good, lovey. Now... Oh, no, sir. Here's your seat right up here, sir. Right what, over what, here. What nonsense! I always sit second row center when this is Hall. May I see your ticket, please, sir? What are you talking about? <laughs> Get backstage, will you? All right. The first nighters are here. Uh, curtain. <laughs> Beautiful set. <laughs> Your nectar, oh my queen. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm too excited. My lover's ship is in the harbor. Oh, I must send him this message. Send in the royal messenger. No, oh. no, no. You sent for me, oh queen? Oh, yes, yes, I did. I want you to send this message to my lover, Mark Anthony. But wait, no, you will be recognized. Send in my maid. Huh? My maid, send my maid in. Yes, sir, Queen. <laughs> you sent for me, oh, Queen? Oh, yes, yes. I've decided that you must take this message to my lover, Mark Anthony. Yes, so, Queen. But wait. A woman. You will be suspect. Send in my aged but trustworthy Major Domo. Yes. Send him in immediately. Yes, yeah, figures. Look, why don't I... Why don't you give me the message and I can give it to him? No, 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 no. I must, I must entrust it to him with my own hands. <laughs> said you wanted me, O oh Queen? Yes, yes. Deliver this message, but be careful. See, the spies are everywhere. I will be careful, O oh Queen. You know what to do if you're caught. I'll eat it. Good, good, good. This message must not fall into Caesar's hands. Hark! I hear footsteps. It's Caesar. <laughs> no, no, I was mistaken. It's not Caesar. Give me back the message. <laughs> Give me back the message. Too late, O oh Queen. <laughs> It's wonderful, dear, and the next act is even more dramatic. My heart, it beats so. I can scarce hear my lover's approach. Slave, open the door. Slave, open the door. Oh, 
gracious queen, oh. greet thy happy sailor. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't she magnificent, dear? Bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo. What did you say? I said bravo. You said... You didn't have laryngitis after all. You were just being noble. <laughs> I was just being a howl. <laughs> bravo! 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 Simply Exactly what I've been looking for. I better get back to work. That ship could be coming by any minute. <laughs> Just right. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the middle would be lost. The middle would be lost. The ship's aground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle, with Gilligan, the skipper too. The millionaire and his wife, the movie star. that you're planning to ration water? <laughs> Darn clever, Professor. Sure beats digging by hand. <laughs>
are we going to do? Watch and see what he does. Keep an eye on him. Yeah. What are you going to do? I'm going to let them out. Okay. Now, if he makes a move, whistle. Like this? <laughs> Want to get us captured? <laughs> Counting on you now, Gilligan. Don't worry, Skipper. Your life is in my hands. I wish you wouldn't keep saying that. <laughs> saw through those even if you had a saw. Hey, don't, 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 don't do that. Why not? Well, because of pow and smash and other gory details I can't go into right now. <laughs> See, he's got a rig with grenades. The slightest pressure and pow. <laughs> I'll dig you out. Positively criminal. Skipper, Skipper, I can hardly wait to find out if I'm a gold millionaire or a jewelry millionaire.
It's a jungle boy. Okay, no, wait, kids, wait, 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 take it easy now. Wait, wait, don't go away now. Wait for me, kid. Wait for me. Hey, wait for me. And don't go away, kid. Here I come, kid. Professor, that works great, just like a regular fan. Don't do that. I know you're not there. Well, where were you when I needed you? Skip Watch this. Ready? Go. <laughs> what, well, Gilligan? I don't understand this, but I got to admit you were right. It's really Anything else, Gilligan? Mm -hmm. You, Skipper. Him, Professor. Me, nut. <laughs> Now this is a tale of a castaways, they're here for a long, long time. They'll have to make the best of things, it's an uphill climb. The first mate and his skipper too will do their very best to make the others comfortable in the tropic island nest. No phones, no lights, no motor cars, not a single luxury. Like Robinson Crusoe, it's primitive as can be. So join us here each week, my friends, you're sure to get a smile. For seven stranded castaways here on Gilligan's Isle. Hey, what's that? It's a guy on a surfboard. A guy on a surfboard? if I didn't accept his apology. <laughs> Apologized. He's not only strong, but he's smart, too. We're gonna have to camouflage this...
badge in my collection. If I can figure out how to get us out of here. Are you sure? I draw the outfit better. That one. Run, Jimmy, run, 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 run. I'll save you, Skipper. I'll save you, Skipper. I'll save you. the bravest thing I ever saw anybody ever do. What's going on out there? When things are at their darkest, when you're in trouble, when you need some help, who do you go to? My mother. Mother isn't on the island. Neither is my father. Ah, but that's it. What's it? We'll pretend that I am your father. Now you have a problem. We'll sit down together and solve it. You think it'll work? Of course it will. Okay, Skipper, let's try it. Hi, Dad. Hi, son. Where's your mustache? <laughs> what? My dad wears a mustache. All right, go out and try again. Hi, Dad. Hi, son. What's on your mind? What's on your lip? <laughs> Never mind. Now, what's on your mind, son? Skipper, where are your glasses? Your father wore glasses, too? As long as I can remember. All right. Go out and we'll try it again. Hi, Dad. Son. How many times have I told you when you're talking to somebody, look them right in the eye? But Skipper, my dad was real short. I always looked down at him. <laughs> well, how's this? Dad, how'd you get here on the island? I've been waiting for you, son. Where have you been? Where's mother? <laughs> I can only believe you. I am a skipper. And so, to sum up, amnesia is still a medical mystery. It can last a day, a week, or 20 years. Hi, Gilligan. Hi, skipper. Fish biting good? No, not so good. Here's a surprise I promised you. Coconut cream pie. Just me, Skipper.
economy to scale. <laughs> Skipper, I hope you two are working on that raft because... Wasn't very funny. Just trying to be helpful. What's empty? Right. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. But there used to be something. <laughs> I'm sure not hard to find. Skipper, we have got to be nice to him. You don't give me one good reason. He's got a transmitter. Well, that's a good reason. Yeah. Control yourself. Control yourself. <laughs> I'm smiling. Look. Are you sleeping? Yeah. That transmitter is the most beautiful sight in the world. <laughs> All right. Now this is a tale of a castaways. They're here for a long, long time. They'll have to make the best of things. It's an uphill climb. The first mate and his skipper too will do their very best to make the others comfortable in the tropic island nest. No phone, no light, no motor cars, not a single luxury. Like Robinson Crusoe, it's primitive as can be. So join us here each week, my friends, you're sure to get a smile for seven stranded castaways here on Gilligan's Island.